Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about burnout and how to avoid it <laughs> in the King of Fighters All-Star. Now really we want to talk about four different areas. Number one is rubies. Number two, resources. Number three, more resources and but just doing it by idling. And then the last section is really just before bed. Okay, so number one, the first thing you want to do when you wake up, <laughs> when you wake up, right, is you check the time because you've got a choice here. Either you've got no time because you've got championship and you've got to do that, right, or championship is not running in your, in your part of the world and then you can just go, okay, fine, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go straight over to the secret shop. And in the secret shop, you have the ad gift box and here you need to do this and that's why you're rushing because every four hours the shop will reset or maybe maybe every six hours now i'm not sure but the point is it's going to refresh so you want to grab that box before it refreshes then after you've done that you run back to the recommended packages and you do the free advert here to get rubies this you've got to do now after you've done that, maybe you're, you know, you know, brushing your teeth or something or getting ready to have breakfast. You need to magically have your, your, your one of your hands free <laughs> and somehow multitask and be able to get more rubies. Rubies, I think, are your priority in this game. Everything else is like, yeah, because rubies are, are what going to are, are, are the rubies is what's going to help you actually get more characters because really at this point when you've been playing and playing and playing the only reason we're really playing now is to get more characters so without rubies we can't really do anything so you want to get more rubies and the main source of your rubies are in the match menu infinite battle this is why i'm like arguably you might not need an arm uh, or leg or something but you need a digit to occasionally help your fighter get through some of the sticky parts because you might notice that some of the some of the matches Things get a bit hairy, but generally speaking on Infinite Battle, if you've got a nice strong team, they should be able to, to at least win. But sometimes they need a little, a little nudge so you keep an eye on them or you just, just play it. But this is the point, you need to be active. So do the Infinite Battle, Unlimited and Limited. Do both of them because you know, you're fighting and at the end of the, the week, you will get rubies as a reward, right? Um, just to show you, of course, you know this already, but uh oh, rank info uh no there should be a rewards 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 i'm blind tier details uh, see, there it is why is it in play? there you go so you got rubies i know a lot of you are probably not going to get anywhere near diamonds such as myself but um you know you've got gold silver bronze you can manage there's a whole lot of players out there well you know a lot of us are in bronze 240 rubies it's something so get that done Smash that up. It doesn't really matter if you lose. You're gonna you're gonna get somewhere in the ranks. Uh, then of course, if you can find the time, magically, some of us it's absolutely impossible. But at least maybe one part of the day you should be able to get uh, a go at championship. Just do it again. Once again, there, there there will be rewards there for wherever you are in the ranks, and you'll get something out of that. Then you've got time attack challenge. Do that as well. You know, I, I still haven't been able to do it really well. I'm still getting like, you know, between one, one and a half to two minutes because I'm rubbish, but you're still going to get rubies from that and you get them instantly. So do that. And then league match. Uh, yeah, league match is, 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 is getting harder. It's getting harder with some of some really crazy teams out there. But again, you just do it and you will get some rewards at the end of the week. It's, it's pretty good, right? So after you get your rubies, uh, you want to run over to your hell dungeon and collect the auto clear. And I, I'm just doing that just to, just to show you. And now I've cleared it and I can't even do that, but whatever. Point is get it. And it doesn't matter where you are, if you've only cleared one stage or something, you've got at least a clear one tier. You should be able to do that, maybe two. And slowly but surely you will build up enough to power up all your characters and get stronger that's it right after that really you're nearly finished uh, you check into your guild and do your free summons um after that really 
seriously, if you're or you know, if you've been playing this game for a long time and you're tired, that's all you need to do. You can then just chill, just leave the phone alone, that's it. Get your free summons. Done. You're done. Finished. And that shouldn't really take you more than an hour if you can spare it. Okay. Um, after that, if you're if you're a bit of a grinder like myself. Uh, then you're going to start thinking about how to build your resources, right? And I think this is the time where if you've got the magical job who's going to not scream at you for having your phone at your desk, or, or at least you could even take your phone and then turn it upside down or cover it with a book or something. This is when you start watching the ads. <clears throat> and the most important ads I think you need to watch are here. I've already done it but it's the bonus item tickets. These tickets are great. It is random, but they can give you souls, they can give you capsules, and they can give you power-up uh, box, which can give you skip tickets and so forth. It's uh, really good, and they get free. you can watch three of them. Brilliant. They're really, really good. I recommend doing those. Then, of course, you've got the roulette. Depends on you know what we've got what going on. This is kind of like... Eh. But, you know, if you're getting a new character, you need souls and you need AP to do the other events. So it's kind of, you know, it's going to come in useful. Um, but, you know, the roulettes and of course here you can get a character. So it's quite good. So four, five, it's quite long. But like I said, if you've got a job which can allow you to have your phone next to you, it's going to be great because, you know, <coughs> watch the ads, don't watch the ads, <clears throat> you know, and it, everything's fine. Um, then after this, I think uh, yeah, really, you've got a choice between that. You can build your resources by watching the ads, uh, and then you can start going into battle mode and auto leveling up your characters. So, I think uh, the most important uh, missions to do are the epic quest because these characters are going to help you for all the other stuff and they back you up with a lot of things. So, if you, you know, you've got to start at some point and start doing the dailies. And here at this point, with all the awakening stuff, what you want to do is just do the dailies to get the ticket. You get the ticket, get the two things done. You, so you, like here, I have to defeat Envy Mary two times. Do that, get the ticket, and then go into chapter of completion and smack up the boss to get the shard, which will then help you collect memories to level up your other characters or even level up this character. So remember, memories can be used for other characters, so they're all very, very useful. So like I said, at this point, uh, yeah, some of these bosses you can do on auto, some of them you can't. Like Chizuru can be a mm, bit tricky. But the other ones, if you're strong enough, you can do them on auto. Just leave the phone. Uh, yeah, maybe Mecha again, it might be a bit tricky as well. But if you've got a good level, they'll, they'll be fine to do on auto. And again, of course, do that with chapter zero and do it with chapter one. Uh, and yeah, uh, Orochi Yashiro, might, you might need to keep an eye on that one. But generally, you can do that on auto. After that, um, you could do the Power Up Dungeon. And remember that like, you can do this, just, just do the, the Expert, three of those, plus the add, get yourself some resources and some cash, you know, but it's like, yeah, it's not too important. But uh, if you want to level up your characters, then you're going to need to do it at some point. And don't forget Tower of Trials. You'll get uh, lots of stuff. And uh, also you get, like after that, you have an ad. So you get more stuff as well. And that will help you give you more AP to do more missions. So that's kind of auto going on in the background. You're like, yeah, whatever. Um, and then after that, you've got really the, uh, yes, the events. The event, the festival characters like uh, Atena. So if you if you like this character and you want to collect all the stuff, uh, look, you've got you might get some things. Leave that on auto. Hopefully you've got a nice strong character to do that. But more importantly, you want to do the lunatic level. Yeah, it's lunatic level of the uh, festival character of the week. So you can you can get their shards again. So you can use these shards for either for that character or for other memories for characters that you, you really need to level up. So they always come in useful. Again, auto, grind, leave your phone doing something, that's it. Uh, of course, you could collect uh, loads of souls from these characters. Um, 
it's a kind of meh, you could if you've got time. Again, do it on auto, should be fine. Um, after that, you could of course do the special match. Um, and of course you need to make sure you've collected, actually I've completely forgot to say that, sorry, I forgot to say auto clear your giant attack bosses. Uh, those give you rubies. How did I forget that part? Uh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, it's on my list. I forgot. Sorry, bad. my bad. Right. So do that. And again, if you want more souls for your characters, you should be able to do this on auto. Uh, do the, the soul quest. Okay. After that, uh, <laughs> it's, it's probably nearing the end of the day. Uh, and... Uh, at this point, you can start clearing out some of the, the missions. A lot, a lot of these missions, you don't really need to do. But of course... Ah, I completely forgot. Yes, you've got to do at least six of these to get 100 rubies. Sorry, my bad. I'm glad you're still watching the video because this is very important. Right, 100 rubies right there. Got to do that. And you can kill two birds with one stone. Look, you can play, do your Tower of Trials. You can do your Parrot mission. And of course, you can also do your guild missions because these things you can use for the exchange shop. Now, one of the things I like to do is to, when you've got the story mode three times, what I like to do is go straight over to one of the characters that I need leveling up and I need uh, my, my gold team. So for example, King here is part of my gold team and Robert is part of my gold team and I do the soul event. And like I said, you can do an auto or you can do use your skip tickets and just go pam, pam, pam and it's done. Um, yeah, I can't be bothered with that right now. So, poof. And whenever you notice, whenever you're doing, whenever you're, you're whenever you are doing, uh, whenever are using your skip tickets, um, use your gold team because it's going to give you a bit of extra cash. Maybe a few pennies, but every little counts. So do that. Skip to do that. And that completes two quests in one. And great pick up some stuff but really a lot of the stuff on here who cares a lot of this is like whatever I don't I don't care about that it's got nothing to do with it I don't, whatever but you will by doing all the other stuff we talked about clear these um, but you really just want the hundred rubies that's it um, and the guild stuff yeah it's good it's good but it's not as important as rubies so after that uh, you could be really psycho and go for the rite of passage get the rite of passage done um, which is really hard, but yeah, but um, yeah. Uh, then before bedtime, really. Now the last section before bedtime is really cleaning up, right? So it's time to go to bed, and what you want to do is check that you've used your guild exchange, grab some, grab something, or keep building. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, actually, you don't really need to do any of the guild exchange. You do it when you want. But if you want souls, they're dailies, so you've got to take them now. Okay, that's that's the point. Some of these are dailies, so you have to do them on the day, otherwise you, you lose your opportunity. Rite of Passage. I'm like, I just, I'm just like, I don't really want to use these. So what I do, I mean, even with the common exchange, I kind of do that. I'm like, okay, fine, I'm buying one. But remember that you only can use like three or four of them before they say, nope, it's pathetic now. To get to the next level, you're going to need something else. But... I guess do that. Uh, Infinity in Infinite Battle Exchange Shop again dailies. I need that to do a lot more of my missions. And if you're yeah, if you can try to get the the geese memories because the geese and Krauser memories because you can use that for other characters, and they are every week they refresh they replenish every week. Um, I sometimes feel quite. Uh, crazy and I go get myself a plus capsule because I, I love every plus capsule and I also get some skip, uh, item ticket more item tickets because they're random they can give you another capsule so do that uh, but if you want to be really crazy you could go for the all-star summon ticket because the rates are arguably quite good because they also contain uh, all these wonderful characters and even the new ones like Lady Kim so that's good right then championship coin uh, again, you could build up and get IG's memory. I think that's about it. Don't do anything. Don't get anything else. Go for IG's memory. Then you've got te Team Relay Exchange Shop. Blah blah blah. League Exchange Shop. I think there's some dailies in there as well. Yeah, I get the elixirs, so I can do more grinding. And again, skip ticket. I'm like, eh, maybe not. 
because you might get them from roulette. And then of course over here, if you want to save up, it's a nice 10 times 10 battle card ticket. Pretty good there. Uh, Solid exchange, don't really use it, but there you go here. When you've been collecting all your stuff, grab those. Done, same over here, same over here. And then that's pretty much it. Um, the last thing you do before you go to sleep is burn your AP. And uh, so I've got a 507 up here. Burn it. Don't go to sleep with a full tank. Uh, and I recommend if you really got nothing else to do, I would go to Parap Dungeon, get some cores for your guild, or go into Street Operation or whatever the card thing is and do, do that. Skip that, burn it all, get rid of it. And if you want to be really crazy, uh, put it on auto battle and leave it on overnight. But put the phone far, far away from you just in case it blows up. <laughs> but uh, you'll need a lot more EP to actually get through a whole night of grinding. So you could just just tonk on a whole like thing. But don't forget, no matter how many AP you do, you can only do 99 missions maximum. That's it. So you've got to think about the timing, the whole timing of that. So really, uh, I wouldn't do a card mission overnight. I would do a core mission, core missions overnight or something like that. Or even or even epic quest overnight. But that's it. So that's it. That's it. After that, just 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 go leave it alone. Go go to sleep, man. That's it. Or do something else. I don't know. But that, that'll do. 60 minutes. Oops. I tried to keep it simple, but that's that's it. Don't do this too much. Don't play this game too much. Get your life back, right? He says, after grinding every day and going absolutely mental and making videos. Yeah, but that's it. That's my advice. Really, the most important thing is get your rubies. After that, it's up to you how much power you want. Are you greedy or could you just let go? Um, I, I'm having a bit of a difficulty with that, but there we are. So that's it. I hope you uh, got some use from this video. I'm out of here now. So we're still streaming every Thursday, 11 p.m. Central European time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe or hit a like and you, you'll get the notification. And maybe if you're feeling uh, generous and you want some nice clothes to wear, drop into the Redbubble or Spreadshirt shop on Orochinagi and get yourself looking, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe handsome or beautiful. I'm not sure, whatever you like. But we might have something to please you. Come see us, and I'm leaving all my notes on KOAF, KOAF, no, KOFAS.orochinagi.com for all your notes and keep yourself updated with the game. All right, this is Gunny. Thanks for watching. I hope it wasn't too boring and useful. Uh, and I'll see you next time.